Alright dudes, it's 2013. It's about time we got rid of the gender bias in STEM fields. Alright, this problem is extremely complex, but I'm gonna try to break it down for you. That's so science! Start when a little girl is young. What are the sort of messages she hears growing up? First off, there's the idea that math is a boys club. Study after study proves this is wrong. Women are on par with men's ability to do math in most countries, in most places, most of the time. 2009 study showed how these sort of narratives affects girls' math performance. If girls were told that there was no gender differences in math ability, then they did just as well or even better than the boys. Not surprisingly, if they were told boys were simply better at math, the girls did poorly. If the girls were told nothing, then they did just as poorly because of whatever stereotypes were already ingrained in their head. This idea that boys are just better at math can be ingrained in people as young as second grade. And in these sort of early childhood education classrooms, boys tend to be encouraged for math. They tend to be told, good job, you studied hard, you worked very hard on this one test. Where girls are told very different stories in the classroom. Girls are told, good job, you're so smart, you're so gifted. For some reason, girls are just more likely to believe that if they do poorly on a math test, it says something about their innate ability not that they didn't study hard enough. So they get discouraged very easily and very early on. All right, so let's say a girl gets through public education. What happens when she goes on to higher education? 49% of PhDs in the biological sciences were earned by women. Of PhDs earned in mathematics, statistics, and physical sciences, only 27% were earned by women. But wait, it gets worse. Only 20% of PhDs earned in computer science were earned by women. And only 18% of PhDs in engineering were earned by women. Many women tend to drop their STEM majors very early on. Research has shown that women tend to feel like misfits in STEM fields. Part of the reason is there's a stereotype that people in STEM are intense, obsessive individuals. Women might choose to leave their STEM major because they simply find it too constraining. All right, so let's say a woman gets through public schooling, college, gets her PhD. What barriers does she face then? One study gave researchers identical applications with the exact same qualifications, one male, one female, for a lab manager position. The female was consistently reported as less competent, less hireable, and if offered the job, she was frequently given a much lower salary. Scientists, you gotta work on your own gender bias. They're perceived as being very male-dominated and not very family-friendly. The other problem is postdocs are seen as not real employees, so they don't have healthcare benefits. So. Let's say a fresh postdoc female is getting ready to plan her family. She's gonna need insurance, but guess what? She's not an employee, technically, so she doesn't get that insurance. Another problem for women going into STEM fields is the lack of mentors and connections. As of 2010, only 22% of senior faculty in science and engineering were women. Well, in this day and age, we know that it's all about not what you know, it's about who you know. So women are really lacking these connections, so they're lacking that hand to get up that ladder. All right, so this just seems like a bad situation all over. So where do we start? Let's start changing the way we talk about science to little girls. Instead of saying, yeah, you can be an astronaut, you can be a scientist too. Let's tell them what astronauts do, tell them what scientists do. Expose young women to more female role models. Emily Grasley, Maddie Moat, link to their YouTubes down below. Tell them about Jane Goodall. These are important steps to getting girls not just engaged in science, but eager to pursue a career track. Once we have a new generation of girls interested in science, how do we keep girls engaged in their majors? The Carnegie Mellon University School of Computer Science did just that. They expanded the amount of female undergraduates in their major from 7% to 42% by changing the culture. They actively recruited female students, they had more departmental social gatherings, and they had informal groups for female students to be mentored by female faculty. Last but not least, we need to appeal to the broader idea of sciences. We need to let go of this idea that scientists are these obsessive, compulsive, intense individuals who study one thing. This attitude deters those kinds of people who want to know lots about lots, and science is the field to do just that. You can be a scientist and be engaged in multiple interests. You have to actively challenge the stereotypes that we've grown up with. All right, so go out there and challenge those societal expectations. Girl power! So the next time you hear that science and math are men's fields, please punch that person in the face. Actually don't, I don't want to condone violence, just send them links to this video.